I'm the Milky Way, eight part spiral galaxy. You now see with an estimated visible diameter of 100 to 200,000 light years across me. I'm the Milky Way. This song is about facts of my galaxy. I'm not the biggest, but I'm the one you call home. Actually, I am the Milky Way, the galaxy. You are all a part of your solar system's a small part of me. Here's more of me you love. Your galaxy is a gravitationally bound collection of stars and a spiral swirling through space that's what you know about me this far i am one in about two trillion galaxies in this observable universe let's give some examples of my size in the coming verse i do have a is measured from my center to the edge of me which in light years measures 52,850 when you measure me from one edge across my entirety I'm about a hundred thousand light years across as you can plainly see I do probably contain 100 to 400 billion stars you know that's an estimate that humans created but there could be more to show to give you an example of my size well we'll look to my neighbor and see the spectacle goes by the name of the andromeda galaxy if you measure the Andromeda across from one side to the other, it's about 220,000 light years wide. It's my big brother. This is IC1101 galaxy. I will now share. It spans as much as 4 million light years. That's a lot bigger if we're there are a lot of other things bigger than this called superclusters. Laniakea is a good example. I am part of its hard to muster. The Laniakea supercluster is thought to be in size 520 million light years, an estimate humans comprise the next time you think earth is the center of the universe you know remember you're just a speck floating in trillions of galaxies in a space unknown I am the Milky Way Galaxy Look in the night sky to see a part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy Your solar system's just a tiny part of me The Milky Way name came from a Greek goddess named Hera Who spilled milk across the sky Greeks believed in that era When you look at the darkest sky on a clear summer night And you see the image of the Milky Way clear in sight Remember you can only see a small part of me Called the galactic core in my galaxy Astronomers can't look at me from outside the galaxy Because I'm so massive and you don't have the technology Based on other galaxies we see outside of our own Is why we conclude that our galaxy spiraled as I'm shown When you look at a side view of the Milky Way here You see me as a flat disk with a bulge center I appear I am the Milky Way Galaxy Look in the 
night's gotta see a part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy Your solar system's just a tiny part of me I was born about 13.6 billion years ago That's a hypothesis given from astronomers though I am 100,000 light years in diameter That's an estimate given by NASA though they can't be sure Your solar system's this tiny dot that you see right here Astronomers think that Orion's spurs where your system appears Your system's guessed to be 25,000 light years from the galactic center of the Milky Way shown here About 230 million years is what your system takes To orbit around the Milky Way center's cool shape 200 to 400 billion stars live in me That's an estimate only based on our astronomy Over 100 billion planets might exist in me Maybe someday you can see them in our galaxy I am the Milky Way Look in the night sky to see a part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy Your solar system's just a tiny part of me Let's take a look at all the parts that you think I'm made of We'll start by looking down at the galaxy above The galactic core's the rotational center you can't see Because of the interstellar dust it cannot be studied It's believed the center is a supermassive black hole When astronomers find out more then I will let you know You'll notice the galactic bar and also the long bar There's the three KPC arms there is a near and there's a far Then we have the Sagittarius and the Norma arms Then the Orion Spur where your solar system spins on The Scutum Centaurus and Perseus arm Are two major spirals and full of the galaxy's charm Finally the outer arm and the new outer arm Are the final spirals I will mention in this song I am the Milky Way Look in the night sky to see a part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy Your solar system's just a tiny part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy Look in the night sky to see a part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy Your solar system's just a tiny part of me There's over 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe that we might see. Let's look at this galaxy size comparison from small to big. Of course, now here we come. I'm Segway 2, I'm a dwarf spheroidal galaxy situated in the constellation of Aries. My radius is 110.89 light years, they say. Discovered in 2009 by Sloan Digital Sky Survey. My name's Messier32, a dwarf early type galaxy. Am I 2.65 million light years from Earth? I fly. I was discovered in the year of 1749. I am 6,500 light years across, and that's just fine. I'm small, Magellanic Cloud, or Nubicula Minor, a dwarf irregular. Galaxy, there's nothing finer. I'm near the Milky Way, but not a stone's toss. My diameter's about 7,000 light years across. I'm Triangulum, a spiral galaxy. You see, sometimes I'm referred to as a pinwheel galaxy. I was discovered officially in 1764. I'm 50,000 light years across. This info is now yours. I'm the Whirlpool Galaxy, also called Messier 51. I'm a spiral galaxy, my arms reach out while I'm spun I was first discovered in the year of 1773 76,000 light years is the distance across me I'm the Milky Way galaxy, a 
gigantic spiral disc with a bright central bulge that you can't miss. I'm 100,000 light years, your sun is 8 kpc from my center. On what is known as Orion's arm, it's a real bender. I'm Hoag's object, a non-typical galaxy of the type known as a ring galaxy as you can see 121,000 light years across bigger than the milky way discovered by author hogan 1958 there's over 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe that we might see let's look at this galaxy size comparison from small to big of course now here we come I'm the Cartwheel Galaxy, a lenticular and ring galaxy Discovered by Fritz Wicke in 1941 I'm 150,000 light years across, my beauty is number one I am M101, also known as the Pinwheel Galaxy Discovered by Pierre Michon in 1781, if you please I'm 170,000 light years across Nearly twice the size of the Milky Way, now that's quite a toss I'm the Andromeda Galaxy a spiral galaxy I say in the nearest major galaxy to your Milky Way my name stems from the constellation of Andromeda I'm 220,000 light years across all BC and yeah I'm NGC 6872 also known as Condor Galaxy I'm a large part spiral galaxy I'm sure you'd agree discovered in 1830 by John Herschel, the boss. I'm very large at 700,000 light years across. I'm the giant temple galaxy, a disrupted part spiral. You see, I was discovered in the year of 2018. I'm 10 times the size of the Milky Way, that's extremely large, my friend. I'm 1 million light years long from end to end. I'm IC 1101, a supergiant elliptical galaxy. I'm one of the largest known galaxies found in your universe, you see. Discovered in the year of 1790 by John Herschel Six million light years across what stars I am full There's over 200 billion galaxies In the observable universe that we might see Let's look at this galaxy size comparison From small to big, of course, now here we come I am UI Scutai, the largest star in our galaxy. Find me in the night sky. I am UI Scutai, a red supergiant in the Scutum constellation. Am I? I was first cataloged in 1860 by German astronomers at Bonn Observatory. I was named BD-1250. Until my second survey I was found to be slightly more bright That's when I was named UI Scutai The 38th variable star of the constellation Scutum am I I'm the largest known star in the Milky Way galaxy But because I'm so far from Earth you need a telescope to see me I'm 30 times the sun's mass but I have a radius more than 1700 times greater than the Earth's sun I span I am UI Scutai the largest star in our galaxy, find me in the night sky. I am UI Scutai, a red supergiant in the Scutum constellation, am I? I'm 9,500 light years away from your Earth. One light year equals about 5.88 trillion miles for what that's worth. I'm known to be one of the most luminous stars, and I am a red supergiant. I hope you like me so far. I'm close to the supermassive black hole, Sagittarius A, galactic center, which is the center of our galaxy. I'm so large if you replaced your sun with me. My photosphere would span past Jupiter's orbit, as you can see. I've begun to fuse helium and continue to fuse hydrogen in the shadow around my core based on models of stellar evolution after fusing heavy elements my core will begin to produce iron disrupting the balance of gravity and radiation in its core and resulting in a core collapse supernova which is
was expecting stars like me Look for me in the night sky within your galaxy I am you, I scoot I The largest star in our galaxy Find me in the night sky I am you, I scoot I a red super giant in the Scootum constellation am I? I am you, I Scooti. The largest star in our galaxy, find me in the night sky. I am you, I Scooti. A red super giant in the Scootum constellation am I? I am the sun, the center of your solar system I do erupt intense high energy radiation This radiation I expel is called the solar flare You'll learn about them in this song and why you should care The sun is a ball of plasma like an extremely hot ocean shaped like a wheel This plasma is pushed around and shaped by the sun's magnetic field When the sun's plasma swirls around by its magnetic field it gets twisted and releases energy around sunspots, they are real. This energy released is caused by magnetic knots. When one of these knots breaks, it releases solar flares, so you are taught. Solar flares are waves of high energy radiation shot through the solar system in which we are all one. These solar flares race through space at the speed of light, creating a solar proton storm. These storms are no delight. When millions of tons of plasma are thrown from the sun's atmosphere. These storms are called coronal mass ejections as you see right here. These CMEs reach speeds of 5.6 million miles per hour. When they hit Earth, it doesn't hurt living beings even with such power. The Earth's atmosphere protects life from the biggest solar storms by absorbing the impact so beings on the surface are safe from harm. When a CME is too big, it creates a solar superstorm that occur once or twice a century so you've been warned if a solar superstorm did happen in this day and age it would shoot billions of tons of plasma from the sun i do say if this type of cme traveled across space towards the earth it would reach you in one day yeah that's fast for what that is worth its shock wave would compress earth's magnetic field making it frail the two magnetic fields would merge stretching earth's field into a thin tail this stretch tail can't contain this energy anymore when it snaps it releases explosive energy towards the earth that it stored this creates something very rare called the geomagnetic storm normally no living thing on earth would even know it had formed the only thing it would affect is your electricity because you rely on this so much it would disrupt human life you see because earth is covered in millions of electric wires and transformers this geomagnetic storm would shut down the power humans would be overturned if one of these storms hit the earth electricity and internet would not work all things powered by electricity would turn off along with all networks computers wouldn't work along with phones and electronic devices no refrigerators or any other household appliances even though we can't stop these terrible solar storms their nasty side effects can be prevented by how we are warned engineers would have a day or two to unplug major power grids until the solar storm passes earth preventing blackouts we forbid humans need to prepare for these types of storms to prevent being thrown back to the stone age before they form a cool event humans experience from any solar storm is the aurora borealis at the two poles is where they perform i'm the life-giving sun you all need me to live but i am unpredictable so solar storms i give i am the sun the center of your solar system i do erupt intense high energy radiation this radiation i expel is called the solar flare you learn about them in the song and why you should care Another small percentage 
messages of other elements Without my atmosphere around you would be frozen I take 365 Earth days to orbit the sun 24 hours makes one day that's just one time that I'm spun You won't fly off into space, gravity's pulling you down As fast as 9.8 meters a second towards the ground I am the Earth, the only planet with organic with 8.7 million species, we all fight to survive You all live on me, so work like bees in a hive And keep this planet really healthy so that we can all thrive There are 12 different types of climates that exist on me Moderate, polar, dry, and tropical are four groups you see Then there is continental, it is the fifth category One climate in Earth has a second moon, it's me, provisionally designated, 2016 HO3, Kamu Abrava is thought to be an asteroid, but that may have changed with new facts that we can avoid. I was first spotted in April of 2016, by Pan Stars. Asteroid Survey Telescope You now see This telescope is located on Haleakala In Hawaii Which is all part of the Haleakala Observatory When I was discovered orbiting the Earth in a weird way What's the name they gave me even though it is extremely hard to say I am very small compared to Earth's moon Measuring 164 feet across I'm tiny, it's true I circle the Earth in a repeating corkscrew-like trajectory Never closer than 40 to 100 times the 239,000 mile distance of your moon you see I'm odd and this is why I don't reflect brightly in certain infrared frequencies or to the eye Like other asteroids do I'm a quirky satellite and this is true Because of this researchers are starting to agree I may be a chip off your known moon flying free Basically what you're seeing is a flying silicate caused by micrometeorite impacts in the space environment. It's possible when space rocks hit the moon at a high degree. When I was ejected into space, I am lunar debris. I am a near-Earth object also known as Neo, part of a group of near-Earth asteroids called Apollo. I'm an object in a specific type of cold orbital configuration with a planet. I'm called a quasi satellite. I know it's weird, but I didn't plan it. Earth has a second moon. It's me, provisionally designated. 2016 HO3. Kamul Abrava is thought to be an asteroid, but that may change with new facts that we can avoid this is a size comparison of objects in our universe we'll start with the smallest and go to the largest most well-known objects we know of course 
I am Ceres, I am a dwarf planet. Maki Maki's a dwarf planet as well, but didn't plan it. I am Hamea, a dwarf planet in this group. Pluto is a dwarf, but used to be a planet, it's true. Aries is a dwarf planet in this mix. The Earth's moon is where your eyes are transfixed. Mercury is here, an official planet. I'm the planet of Mars, I'm sure you all know this. I'm planet Venus, my size you may think is large. Planet Earth is next, and the humans think that they're in charge. Neptune's a planet in our solar system, wow! Planet Uranus is here, I wish I could take a bow. Planet Saturn has rings, if you think I am big, check out Planet Jupiter, I hope you can dig. This is a size comparison of objects in our universe. We'll start with the smallest and go to the largest, most well-known objects we know, of course. I am the sun, a yellow dwarf that isn't far. I am Sirius A, a main sequence star. My name is Pollux, a red giant star, it's true. Arcturus is a red giant star, this I thought you knew. I'm Aldebaran, a red giant star, that's me. Hi, I'm Rigel, a blue white super giant, you see. I am Beetlejuice, and I'm a red super giant in class. I'm in Tories, I'm a red super giant that won't last. VY Canis Majoris, a red hyper giant star. I'm UI Scutai, the biggest red super giant this far. I am the Milky Way galaxy, and you live in me. Now let's all sing the chorus together with glee. This is a size comparison of objects in our universe. We'll start with the smallest and go to the largest, most well-known objects we know, of course. This is a size comparison of objects in our universe. We'll start with the smallest and go to the largest, most well-known objects we know, of course. We're astronomical objects, brought to you here by size. Some within Neptune's orbit, others trans-Neptunian we fly. We're astronomical objects brought to you here by size. We all orbit the sun that may come as some surprise. I'm Phoebe, an irregular satellite of Saturn. I be my alternative name is Saturnine. You can see, discovered in 1899 by William Pickering. My diameter is 213 kilometers while I do my thing. I'm 10199 Caraclo, an asteroid with rings the largest confirmed small body of the outer solar system I sing. I'm possibly a dwarf planet with a measured diameter of 232 kilometers, I'm sure. I'm 38628, who ya, yeah, a minor planet in your system. Or trans-Neptunian object is my technical term as I'm spun. You can find me in the Kuiper Belt in the outer solar system. My diameter is 406 kilometers, how fun. I'm 2000. 18 BG 18 of this I am sure a trans-Neptunian object don't leave there is more first observed in 2018 by three astronomers 500 kilometers is my known diameter my name is Vesta I'm a minor planet you now know I'm one of the largest objects in the asteroid belt I do show I'm probably the second largest asteroid after Ceres I have a mean diameter of 500 25 kilometers you see. I'm 2014 UZ 224, a trans Neptunian object and possibly a dwarf planet, but the IAU hasn't decided yet. Out in the Kuiper belt, I was discovered, I am sure. 630 
25 kilometers is my diameter. I'm 20,000 Varun, a large trans-Neptunian object. In the Kuiper belt, I dwell in possible dwarf, but not yet. My elongated shape is due to my rapid rotation. 668 kilometers is my diameter well spun. I am Ceres, I am a dwarf planet. I'm the largest object in the main asteroid belt to orbit. I am too dim to be seen by the naked eye for sure. I am 946 kilometers in diameter. My name is Senna, I am a minor planet on the run. I'm three times as far as Neptune from the sun. My surface is one of the reddest among the solar system objects. I'm 995 kilometers in diameter, glad we met. My name is Quora, and I'm a dwarf planet candidate. But for now, I'm a non-resonant trans-Neptunian object. I reside in the Kuiper Belt. It's so cold here, burr. And I'm 1110 kilometers in diameter. And I'm 2007 OR10. That name it stood strong with the proposed name in 2019 of Gong Gong. My furthest distance is 9.4 billion miles from the sun. My diameter is 1230 kilometers as I run. Not Maki. Maki, a minor planet I be. I'm perhaps the second largest object in the Kuiper belt you see. I was discovered in 2005 by a team led by Michael Brown and currently 1430 kilometers in diameter and I'm round. Almea is my name. I'm a dwarf planet by fame. Beyond Neptune's orbit you can find me with some aim. I'm the third largest known trans-Neptunian object. I'm 1632 kilometers kilometers in diameter last I checked. My name is Ceres, I am a dwarf planet as well, and the second largest dwarf planet in the solar system, how swell, located beyond the Kuiper belt in a region called the Scattered Disk, my diameter in kilometers is 2326, I'm Pluto, I'm a big deal, as the largest dwarf planet, I used to be the ninth planet in the solar system till I quit, I am part of the cold and lonely kind. My diameter is 2376 kilometers, so I tell. We're astronomical objects brought to you here by size. Some within Neptune's orbit, others trans Neptunian we fly. We're astronomical objects brought to you here by size. We all orbit the sun, that may come as some surprise. My name is Four Vesta, the asteroid, one of the largest asteroids in the asteroid belt, please enjoy. The asteroid belt is located roughly between Mars and Jupiter, I'm the second largest asteroid on the scene. I was discovered by German astronomer Hendrik Olbers, and that is for sure, in the month of March in 1807, when looking I was named Vesta after the Roman goddess of home and hearth. It was easy and flawless. I was named by the famous mathematician called Frederick Gauss. He was such a vision. I am one of the largest objects you should know. In the asteroid belt is where I glow. The asteroid belt is located roughly between the orbits of Jupiter and this is the second largest known asteroid by both mass and by volume. That's knowledge to enjoy. I'm the second largest two dwarf planet series, the closest dwarf to the sun in your solar system. See, my mean diameter is 525 kilometers or 326 miles if the metric system's unfamiliar. I'm the brightest asteroid that is visible from Earth, but not quite a dwarf. I need some more girth At a distance of 220 million kilometers From the planet of Earth For what that is worth NASA's Dawn spacecraft Entered orbit around me In the year of 2011 July the 16th Dawn stayed for a one year Exploration And left my orbit when it reached Its completion On the 5th of September In 2012 
Our colors vary, you know We're made mostly of hydrogen and helium Here we go VFTS-352 Contact binary 1 and 2 Composed of two very hot brain massive stars That orbit each other, it's true My name is Pollux A red giant star here Arcturus is a red giant star I hope I made that clear R136A1 is a wolf riot star thus far I'm Alda Baron, a red giant star that's me Rigel is here, a blue white super giant you can see I am Beetlejuice and I'm a red super giant in class VY Canis Majoris, a red hyper giant star with mass I'm UI Scootai, the biggest red super giant this far. Join us to sing the chorus, now get your head out of the stars. We're all stars, we're all stars, compared to each other by size. You can see a lot of us when you look into the night sky. We're all stars, we're all stars, our colors vary, you know. We're made mostly of hydrogen and helium, here we go. We're all stars, we're all stars compared to each other by size you can see a lot of us when you look into the night sky we're all stars we're all stars our colors vary you know we're made mostly of hydrogen and helium here we go Should 
no, don't go, I'm not done. I was discovered by an American astronomer, Charles Bruce Stevenson, in 1990, I'm sure. I'm a red super giant in the constellation of Scutum. Let's see how far I am from your nation. I'm roughly 20,000 light years away from Earth, you see. I shine with 440,000 solar luminosities. I have an estimate of 2,150 solar radii. That's bigger than the star of UI Scutai. My effective temperature is thought to be 3,200 K, K meaning Kelvin. I have so much more to say. I'm the new champion of the universe, largest stars by size. Try to find me with your eyes when looking to the night sky. I'm Stevenson 2 18 red super giant star, the biggest you've ever seen. The new biggest star in the universe am I. I am much larger than you, I could die. I'm Stevenson 2 18 red super giant star, the biggest you've ever seen. The new a moon size comparison in our solar system we're happy if you shed some light on us until we are done we're measured by our radius you'll hear in a bit we'll also tell you the planet in which we orbit my name is tethys i'm one of saturn's 82 moons my radius is 531 kilometers it is true I am Dion, I orbit Saturn, you do see My radius is 561 kilometers, that is me Ariel is my name, Uranus is what I orbit My radius is 578 kilometers, I'm third on the list I am Umbriel, Uranus is where I'm from My radius is 584 kilometers, I am spun I'm the moon of Sharon, I float in orbit Pluto radius is 606 kilometers, this I do know. I'm Iapetus, a moon of Saturn, radius of 734 kilometers as I turn. Oberon is my name, outermost moon of Uranus. 761 kilometers is my radius. I am Rhea. Saturn's second largest moon radius of 763 kilometers. See you soon. Here's a moon size comparison in our solar system. We're happy if you shed some light on us until we are done. We're measured by our radius, you'll hear in a bit. We'll also tell you the planet in which we orbit. Not Titania, the largest moon of Uranus. 788 kilometers is my radius. The name is Triton, the largest moon of Neptune. I'm 1,353 kilometers in radius in this tune. Europa is frozen and the moon of Jupiter. My radius is 1,560 kilometers. I am the moon of the planet. Earth. My radius is 1737 kilometers for what it's worth. Hello, I'm Io, the strangest moon of Jupiter with a radius of 1821 kilometers. I'm Callisto, I orbit Jupiter, you see. My radius is 2410 kilometers, that's all on me. Titan is my name, Saturn's my claim to fame. 2574 kilometers is my radius, I claim. I'm gonna meet the largest moon in the solar system. Jupiter is what I orbit, yeah, that's where I'm from. My radius is 2634 kilometers now. Let's listen to the chorus while the moons take a bow. Here's a moon size comparison in our solar system We're happy if you shed some light on us until we are done We're measured by our radius, you'll hear in a bit We'll also tell you the planet in which we orbit We 
are some planets, all different in size. Here's our planetary size comparison for you live. We'll look at each planet, measure by their radius here. There are so many planets that will appear. I am Ceres, I am felt as the largest object in the asteroid belt. I am Orcus, to be direct. I'm a trans-Neptunian object. I'm known as Sedna, if you can stand it. I'm a large minor planet. I am Quora, you may respect as a trans-Neptunian object. My name's kind of funny, it's Maki Maki. I am a dwarf planet, yeah that's me. Haumea is my name, I'm six in line with fame. A dwarf planet, yeah we're not all the same. My name is Eris, I am a dwarf planet. The most massive dwarf in your system yet. You know me as Pluto. I was a planet, but now dwarf, you know. I hope the IAU puts me back as a planet, though. Who's Kepler-37b? Wait a minute, that's me. An extrasolar planet that you now see. I am Mercury, the second hottest as I'm spun. I'm in your solar system, closest planet to your sun. Come visit this planet so far to learn all about Mars. I'm the 10th largest planet, but not really in charge. My name is Venus, for what that is worth. I'm almost the same size as your beautiful Earth. I'm the Earth on this planetary run. Please take care of me, I'm the planet you all live on. Proxima Centauri B, I'm the planet you see. An exoplanet in a habitable zone, you degree. Have you heard about me? Kepler 10B is my name. I have a rocky surface, I'm amazing, some do claim. My surface is a furnace, I'm Coro 7B. 489 light years from the Earth, that's me. Neptune centers Earth size of my atmosphere's methane, hydrogen, and helium. And I'm the most distant from our burning sun. I'm Uranus, the planet seven from the sun, yet I'm blue with 13 rings, I'm sure we have met. You know me as Saturn with rings, this is true. I have the most moons in the solar system, now 82. I'm Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system. I am the fifth planet from the sun. I'm an extrasolar planet, this is 51 Pegas I B. Some think my atmosphere contains water that we may see. I am a planet, my name's Gliss 876D. An extrasolar planet up in this mix, that's me. I'm named HD 100546B. I am designated the largest known planet you see. We are some planets, all different in size. Here's our planetary size comparison for you live. We'll look at each planet, measure by their radius here. There are so many planets that will appear. There are system and we revolve around the sun join us to learn about the different planets now sing along and have some fun my name is mercury i'm the second hottest planet but the closest one to the sun a year on my surface is 88 days i'm the smallest but lots of fun my name is Venus. 
Located in the Kuiper Belt outside the orbit of Neptune and the third closest door to the sun for goodness sake. I'm Maki Maki, the fourth dwarf planet from the sun, also located in the Kuiper Belt you see. Discovered in 2005 by Mike Brown and his team at the Palomar Observatory. I have one provisional moon, its name is MK2, it's about 13,000 miles from me. I appear to be reddish brown in color, but I'm so far away that you can barely see. My name is Eries, I'm in the Kuiper Belt, I'm the fifth dwarf planet from the sun. I have one known moon, it's named Dysnomia, its orbit lasts about 16 days on its run. I'm the most massive, but the second largest dwarf planet after Pluto in the solar system. If you want to learn more about us individually, watch all of Kids Learning to Planet videos at once. We're the five dwarf planets of the solar system in order from the sun. We're the five dwarf planets. According to the IAU, we're the only ones. I am the first planet from our sun, you see. My name is Mercury, nothing orbits faster than me The smallest planet with the second hottest degree My name is Mercury, no one is smaller than me Messenger of the gods is what Mercury means The Romans gave me my name, cause I'm the fastest they'd seen A bit bigger I'd be than the Earth's moon that you see To fill the Earth one time, it would take 18 of me I am the first planet from our sun that beams But I'm the second hottest, I can reach 800 degrees 88 Earth days is the amount that I take To orbit our sun once, that makes one year on me I am the first planet from our sun you see My name is Mercury, nothing orbits faster than me The smallest planet with the second hottest degree My name is Mercury, no one is smaller than me 59 Earth days equals one day on me My surface is made of stone covered in craters you see Oxygen, sodium, hydrogen, helium, and potassium Make up my exosphere I have no moons and I have no rings But I'm the second densest planet amongst other things I am the first planet from our sun you see My name is Mercury, nothing orbits faster than me The smallest planet with the second hottest degree My name is Mercury, no one is smaller than me Estimated visible diameter of a hundred to two hundred thousand light years across me. I'm the Milky Way. The song is about facts of my galaxy. I'm not the biggest, but I'm the one you call home. Actually, I am the Milky Way. The galaxy, you are all a part of Your solar system's a small part of me Here's more of me you love Your galaxy is a gravitationally bound Collection of stars In a spiral swirling through space That's what you know about me this far I am one in about two trillion galaxies in the 
this observable universe. Let's give some examples of my size in the coming verse. I do have a radius, which is measured from my center to the edge of me, which in light years measures 52,850. When you measure me from one edge across my entirety, I'm about a hundred thousand light years across. As you can plainly see, I do probably contain 100 to 400 billion stars. You know, that's an estimate that humans created, but there could be more to show. To give you an example of my size, well, we'll look to my neighbor and see the spectacle goes by the of the Andromeda Galaxy. If you measure the Andromeda across from one side to the other, it's about 220,000 light years wide. It's my big brother. This is IC1101 Galaxy. I will now share. It spans as much is four million light years that's a lot bigger if we're compared there are a lot of other things bigger than this called super clusters Laniakea is a good example I am part of it's hard to muster the Laniakea super cluster is thought to be in size 520 million light years an estimate humans had comprised the next time you think earth is the center of the universe you know remember you're just a speck floating in trillions of galaxies in a space unknown